a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m hello welcome to another episode of alpha i am roger allen the topic for today is the punishment of cain let us pray father our lord today i give you thanks for another time to share your words with your people guide me dear lord i pray in jesus name amen the punishment of cain as we look in a previous lesson we looked at the crime and today we're looking at the punishment genesis 4 9 to 16 gives a description of what is taking place and please read along with me and it says and the lord said unto cain where is abel thy brother and he said i know not am i my brother's keeper and he said what hast thou done and thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground and now art thou cursed from the earth which had opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand when thou tillest the ground it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength a fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth and cain said unto the lord my punishment is greater than i can bear behold thou hast driven me out of out this day from the face of the earth and from the face shall i be hid and i shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me and the lord said unto him therefore whosoever slayed cain vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold and the lord set a mark upon cain lest any finding him should kill him and cain went out from the presence of the lord and dwelt in the land of nod on the east of eden god question to cain echoes his question to adam in eden where are you this echo suggests the link between the sin in eden and this sin now the latter sin cain's was the result of a former one adam's cain though will not acknowledge his sin he denies it something that adam didn't do even though he tried to put the blame elsewhere cain in contrast openly defies god who doesn't waste any time confronting cain with his crime when god asks the third question what have you done he does not even wait for an answer he reminds cain that he knows everything for the voice of abel's blood has reached him from the ground based of genesis 4 verse 10 an image that signifies that god knows about the murder and will respond to it abel is in the ground a direct link back to the fall and to what the lord has said upon adam based of genesis 3 verse 19. it is because abel's blood was poured on the ground that the ground is now cursed as a result cain is then commended to become a, condemned to become a fugitive far from god only when cain hear god's sentence does he acknowledge the significance of god's presence for without it he fears for his own life even after cain's cold blood and murder of his brother and defiance in the face of it the lord still showed mercy to him and even though cain went out from the presence of the lord based of genesis 4 verse 16 the lord still provided him with some kind of protection exactly what the mark was based of genesis 4 verse 15 we haven't been told but whatever it was it came only because god's grace to him and that grace still extend to all of us today and that my friends is a lesson for all let us pray father we thank you that no matter what we have done your grace still extend to us father i pray that we will accept your grace accept your mercy and for those who need to repent from our evil ways will do so before it is too late please forgive us of our sins in jesus name i pray amen thank you for joining us today but please join tomorrow for another interesting episode of alpha until then 
God bless. A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m.